Very good. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, I love to start with this image about this topic. And probably the first things that you see that I love action movies. And okay, but it's important for me, this picture, for a lot of reasons different. And now we will see why in few... Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So, we're no going to attempt to solve this problem quickly. Okay, no problem. In the meantime... Let's entertain the audience okay. with song and dance numbers. So, when one saw this movie in the meantime... <laughs> Only me, no, I think there is... A, ah, there is someone else, okay. <laughs> okay, it's not a problem for the talk, <laughs> if you didn't see the movie. Okay, important that there is a recording, so... Okay, so let's back, okay. So, thinking a moment of the image, let's start talking about why the Expendables movies as a cover of this talk. The first point is that, not because of the movie name, because it can be strange, but for the people in the picture, because we have examples of different kinds of people working together in a single photo. We have everyone that has a specific role and specific tools for this job. And also, everyone is easy to recognize for his role. And also, everyone doesn't have problems in doing their task. Doesn't, we can say, doesn't have problems. They trust each other, so this is important in a team. The boss is a leader in the group. He's some one of the group, not outside the group. And the point is that, as open source, we are not soldiers, but we are volunteers. And this is the part, what we can learn from this photo. But let's talk about me. I am Daniele Scasciafratte from Italy. I have a web agency. I work as developer. So I don't doing community management for a living. And I started doing community management because I started projects. And in Italy, I saw the community has problems. So I stepped in and said, OK, we need to fix it. So during the time, I started six years ago with Mozilla and with Mozilla Italia, later with the Mozilla REST program that is empowering all the community of Mozilla in the world doing activities, whatever they need. Now I'm part of the council that is elected every year this for the second term, and that's a Mozilla tech speaker. So I'm part of the Mozilla community for different kind of things. I'm also part of the Mozilla Italia community, of course, also of WordPress later, and for the WordPress Italia one, <laughs> and also as localizer, reviewers, and also core contributor, and helping in organizing few meetups in Italy. But also part of another project, this is a fork of WordPress, is Cassipress, and also part of the founding committee, and also part of the international team, and president of an Italian association of professionals that works with open source. Just to understand my background, I am a developer. So when I started, I say, okay, I'm doing community management. But really, I have to read the books about psychology, team management. I am a developer. Let me know what I have to do, and I will do it. For me, is a ticket is perfect, because I know what to do. So why I have to do these kind of things? So let's start talking about what is coaching. Coaching, usually I was thinking it was this. Look in the movie, the coach of the football team. So what I need in a community, coaching. Also, thinking maybe it's a teacher, like at school. But after learning a little bit, wasn't both of them. We have to think that we are, again, not soldiers that they, we receive orders, but we are people that understand other people because we are volunteers. We are part of the same team. So I like a lot of the comic strips. And I was thinking also coaching is also doing mentor. Because I think of myself as a good mentor, helping people join activities, doing, helping to introduce them. But mentor is not only 
part of coaching because we have a good way in a comic about what means to be a mentor. It's not, okay, this is the right way to do it, let me explain. No, let people to do it the right way so they will be motivated to understand why there is a problem. And my brain was thinking, it's a problem of communications because, you know, it is famous Italian gesturing a lot and we didn't see that. But, and I was thinking communication, but the point is that there are different ways of communications. Italian communicate with words, with voice, but also with the gestures. So it's not like a specific like right in the forum. But there are also different kind of Italians too. So there are also kind of people too. In that picture of different kind of food in Italy. Just understand that it's not only a problem of communications, it's not a problem of food or whatever. Communication is not only say to people, stuff, but also is a mix of a lot of things. Speech, again food, science, typing, whatever. It's a mix of things, communication. So when I started looking, okay, what I can find of motivational image for coaching, I found a lot of image. With a lot of interesting things about leadership, and that is a big part of the puzzle about what is coaching, because coaching born in an enterprises company. So what why with open source community, what we have in common. We are part of a team. The purpose is completely different. We like the project because we give our time, our passion, fun, whatever, to start working in a project. We are not getting money to work in a project because we like to work in this project. So coaching, this is the right definition. Coaching is releasing a person's potential to the maximum and this is helping them to learn, rather teaching them. So they will discover on their own, but we are only putting them in the right way. And this is a complete picture of the various parts of the puzzle, what is coaching. We have motivate, inspire, mentoring, lead by example, this is very important, because the people see you as part of the team, so they take you as a reference in a community. Teamwork, vision, this is, this is coaching in a picture, but for me, it wasn't enough. Because we are talking about volunteering. Again, I am a developer. I am doing volunteering and helping on community management. As I think there is people like me, or also of other be the, uh, working background doing community management. So I started looking again on internet about motivational image about volunteering. And we can see that the main focus point is that we are there because we want it. So we need to be have a nice uh, uh, way to gratification, a lot of things. So let's move again back to what is coaching because right now I never say anything about it. This is my single slide recap about what is coaching. Coaching is not only to help others, but also you. This is very important because you can use this method also improve yourself. Is focus on skills, not the person. This is very important. Like ah, okay. Let's switch. It's also, okay, learn to delegate. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, it's learn to delegate and trust the people around you. You are a part of a team. And a team works good when everyone trusts each other and when it is possible to communicate each other. So also delegate is a very huge part on coaching because everyone uh, is here for a reason. So everyone has to do some things. Start with this point. And also talk to people with motivation in mind. We are here and we need to be motivated because again, we are volunteers. We are not getting money to be here. So it can be a motivation, of course. So there are, there are two options, guide or excite people. Let two people to talk and ask for help. I saw this is very important. A lot of people like to be part of something just because they can say something. Also, thanks can be a way for them. Guide, don't judge, quite simple. 
great confidence. In Italy, this is very important, but I can say that it's important everywhere. When there is confidence in a team, it will be very easy to work and move on to things. And the GROW model is part of the coaching. It's four points. Goal. What is your goal? Reality. The actual situation with bad and good facts. Reality. Define a few solutions and wrap up. As developer, for me, the best recap is that define the problem, what do you want to achieve, propose few options, and recap and create a plan. This is my easy way to remember all of these kind of things. So this is open source in action. This is a Mozilla lens few years ago, and we have a group of different people. We have uh, a Mozilla employee, we have volunteers, we have designers, developers, and teachers, we have a group of people there with a lot of post-it in a wall, very a lot, that they share their feedback, ideas, everything all together and leaving feedback each other in an open way and uh, approaching, as, as in this case, I don't remember right now, a single problem as example. So a group of people with different backgrounds for the same reason. So, but we are only start the talk. And again, as Italian, there is always something next about food when you're doing a meal. So let's start because we are a little bit started right now. I want to explain a simple way to understand the coaching way in the case of Italian. I know there is a lot of Italian in this slide, but it's part. Okay, this is team working. In this case, this is my uh, house uh, in, in the um, countryside of my city. There is my father and two friends. They are doing, I think that everyone knows, I think. This is not a problem to explain. They are doing pizza. And everyone has a specific role again. Everyone doing something in a chain. And everyone looks what is doing the others. In this case, we should prepare the pasta, the pizza, and put the ingredients, and put in the whore. And in my case, we have someone that is a leader. In this case, is my father. I'm doing the beta testing that I face. Only organize the event. But this part of the team also this. So this is an example of teamwork, quite easy to understand. The next point of the teamwork is enjoy the results, because we have this pizza, everyone is here. You see what everyone do it. The next point is enjoy together what they did, because the teamworking, we are volunteers again, we are doing because we want to enjoy what we are doing. So everyone there is enjoying after, now it's night, after the day, did the work we have for who is asking because people often ask this is a weather man or wine, red wine, just who is asking in case. This is people that is joined together after the day doing the pizza because it's when you're doing for five hours is a very big, very hard. So to understand this is team working in a coaching way all together. So again, with the pizza we, underst we understood what is team working what means enjoy the results and do it together. So let's start about talking about why we are doing better in coaching for open source community. We have everyone that works together. You are not an unusual member of the community, but the veteran of the community. I saw this term start jumping in a lot of community, the veterans, the one that is like you, but has more experience than you in the project. So people see you as a reference when you are asking something because they have no idea where to find some things, what is the right process, they see you like the veteran of the community. You know your community status and the people of the community because you are leading that. So it is important to set these two points. And also it's part for coaching, they find the best way for the members of the community how to do a community based on the members. Find propositive people during the activities. I saw that it's very important to onboard in people and get their engagement quite easily. Because when you find a propositive people and let you them to join some things, they will lead something else later. In a few months, probably, I saw a lot of cases in different communities. This is one of the most important points. Ask them to join discussion is one of the first examples that I give to people. When you find someone propositive, just let them to join a discussion later. Maybe another meeting, maybe another thread, whatever. Because you need, people need an input. We are people, we need a ping. 
And of course, be transparent about decisions. This is very important. And don't forget to say thank you. People don't often forget to say thank you, but it's always very important because, again, we are volunteering. So, and you are volunteer like others. You are not uh, something in, uh, up from them, but you are like part of the rest of the team. One of the tips that I saw that is very important to let people to join discussion is organize a schedule before the meeting and share it. Like one day before, one week. In a way, people can check, OK, there we discuss this kind of things. So maybe if for me it's important to join. Maybe I can have ready the question. I can put in the docs. Maybe they will reply to what I need. So people in that way feel more part of the team. Prepare activities with examples and documentation is one of the ways. People love to organize things when they have the chance to do it. So I usually do for, my, for the community create examples of activity they have to do. I don't know, review a document, create the, the workflow as an example. It's a way for them to be part of the community in doing something like a tutorial that can be used from someone else. Create rules. Policy is a workflow with the community. As again, with the Mozilla Italia community, we started discussing. Now we have a manual of 40 pages for how to localize a Mozilla project, as an example. People started, and now people that started leaving feedback now is a reviewer of the localization team. Started outside the team, later localizer, now is part of the localization team as a reviewer. And also, present social networks, now is important to reach the new people, new open source in, uh, uh, enthusiast that doesn't know how works open source. And we need to use social networks. And also, this is very important, ask always for feedback, because people love to leave their talks, feedbacks, whatever. So it's very important, leave the floor to that, because people, when they see they can leave feedbacks, because everything is transparent, want to keep doing. And later, probably, they will start joining discussions, meetings, whatever. So we will find an important part of your community without controlling that. So, I have our own work for you. This is a huge list, but the slides are already available, about a coaching experiment for you on your own when you come back after the conference. And we can see that it's like facing a problem from the point of the community, your com point of view, how you can, how, what you can do it for the community, what are the bad and good points of this problem, See from different points of view is very important because in a community there are designers, developers, marketers, uh, business people, enthusiasts. So you have to see from the different points of view this problem. And also write everything that you can forget. For me as an example is very important because often I don't write something because for me it's not important but for others can be. So I write everything. Do a plan with dates because you need to face the problem during the time. Document with example, again, people love example because they have find everything. And also, again, ask for feedback when you finish that. So, now, I talked about my experience, but I like to leave uh, these slides as a coaching experiment too, because I've written a lot of things, but it's now for you to study something, like I studied too. So, let's start with resources. When I started doing coaching was the first book on the line, suggested by the Mozilla community itself, and that I was thinking, why I have to read this book? But later I chose, and okay, I will read also all these kind of books. This is only a list, a part of the list. Because it's important to understand that we are the community is part doing with people, and people have different needs. And there are different kind of ways to act, to face the various problems that a community can face. And the last link is, for me, is very important because it's one of the results of the REST program that we are working to create community builder, leaders. And this is a list of all the resources that you can find online. So let's start with my resources that I did to help communities. But before I forget, forget there was also this link. This is a coaching guide for Mozillians because the volunteers for Mozilla call it in that way. I like it a lot, this one, because it was made a few years ago. It's an experience, uh, a research made by Mozilla, and they interviewed 30 different volunteers, and, and with this information, they studied how the community is built with different kind of group of volunteers, and I was one of them, but I didn't know that at the time. 
And it's interesting to see that there are like four different kinds of volunteers, what they need, why are they joining, and it's important for the community to know what are the interests of a community. This is one of the last that they did, is part of the REST program, is conversation between the mentor of the REST program with the mentee of the REST program too. And we created a lot of slides, uh, explanation to take calls with all of them, and this is available, of course, for everyone. And the examples are results of coaching. Is, as an example, this one that they did years ago is a guide that I've written, like now is a 13 pages of my experience of to recruit and motivate new volunteers. And I'm still working on that because there are always new things that you can learn because I see the world as a, my high, but people see in another way. So I like to write everything that they learn because in a way that I don't forget, but people read that, and these are resources for someone else. So like open source, giving stuff to others. This is another one experiment, they did, again, for the Mozilla REST program. is uh, an analysis of different kind of developers about uh, browser extensions, in the case of Italy, and what I learned at the time, what the, was the problem, how I faced it, whatever and it's public again. Or to be a tech speaker, because tech speaker is a program of Mozilla to enforce a speaker like me to be more skilled and do joining conference, and I've written another guide for that about what are the problems of doing a talk, speak at an international conference in a language that is not yours, and all the, prob all the kind of things that someone will face when I have to do the first talk of their life. So I've written again. And for me, this is a quite example of what is coaching. For me, it's documenting, because developers hate document stuff. But it's very important to do it. So, because we are finishing, uh, I suggest to you when you come back at home and want to do the homework for you, check this video, because it's a, a parody song of OpenSUSE, that for me is perfect to get in the right mood. And they have uh, did a lot of also other parody songs, so you can find also the link of all of them. Because for me, uh, it's important when I have to do something that is not for you, like again, for me, psychology stuff, because I don't care at the time. Be in the right mood before face all these kind of things, because you have not have to see, like was for me, something that they say, you have to read it. No, you have to read it because your community needs it, because you want that your community grow. Because a community that doesn't grow has problems. So, now, I have all the time for your questions. Who would like to begin our Q&A period? Um, thank you very much for this great presentation. Um, and I'm very surprised, but it's like uh, Boris beside me and you, you are referring to this Mozilla program and they must have done a lot of good things that you've been like uh, learning from. I am very much willing to attend, but I would like to follow um, the examples that you mentioned. And I think um, everyone that made it up here into this last room, <laughs> great to be here. You must have been like interested in community building and uh, I would love to link with you and go through the whole process that was described, like learning from the others and especially like from other platforms as we want to do also on Mattermost. Um, we are creating a community and we want to live by example, all the points that you made up. So thank you very much and um, feel that I will be one of your <laughs> followers. And um, the question is like, um, the first step that we can do to connect, to make the right move, what would you um, suggest to do us? Uh. I think that you need to understand uh, bef uh, what public, kind of public, is interested for on your community and what is the best place to reach them. As an example, starting with WordPress, because it was one of the most recent for me, is Meetup, as an example. And you re uh, for me, I got a lot of people that doesn't know that WordPress was open source at WordPress Meetup. So I understand in that way, as an example, that I need to focus the communications about explaining what is open source. So you need to understand the target, like marketing. There is a lot of marketing coaching, but it's important because in that way you can do the right communication and also find the right tools to communicate with them. Because as an example, WordPress uses Slack, but Mozilla uses a lot of Telegram. 
but in the past mailing list. So depends on the people, you have to find the right tool to communicate, but also the right message that you want to send to people. And that uh, guy that I mentioned there, uh, how to recruit and motivate new volunteers, I split in different sections the various people that you can find. I like a lot to talk with people, understand what their interest is. As an example, talk with a person and say, okay, he speaks a good English, maybe he's interested to be a localizer. No, this is a student, so maybe he wants to do something to learn, I don't know, Git, how it works. So I created in this document various ways to gather, this, to onboard these people and find a way to get their interest because people need an input. So you need to find their interest about something topics that for them is very important. With students, is learn something. With people that they want to do, like in their free time, maybe something that is not uh, time consuming. So it depends on the various uh, personas, this is another term, you have to find the best way. Usually it's better start focusing and experimenting with a little group, it can be a meetup or doing a specific event in a specific city or inside a co-working, I don't know. In that way, you can have a better idea of where to do the next step. As an example, I have now started a Linux user group in my city. That wasn't never. I started doing an event with the uh, Nike school classes about explaining open source. When I explained open source, it was perfect. But when I asked to do that using computers and install a web server, for them it was a problem, as an example. Because they don't know how to install a software, because now, uh, millennials use only the smartphone. So I learned that now maybe it's not better to focus with students. Maybe it's better to focus to professional people, more adults, as we can say. So with a little bit of experiment, you can understand where to start and to create a little bit of people. Okay. More questions? I talk too much. <laughs> uh, you were talking about uh, um, getting people together on a chat sort of platform, such as Slack or Mattermost or WhatsApp, Telegram. Um, but how can you convince people to use a certain platform? Because I'm working with a community where uh, one person prefers a mailing list, the other one prefers Slack, another one prefers WhatsApp. This is a common problem that we fa I have the, with Mozilla Italia again. We tried with Rocket Chat because it was open. So we have people that say, OK, open source, OK, we use it. But we say that a lot of people don't understand why you have to use another app. So we switched to Telegram later. And we saw a lot of engagement that way. So this is a problem because, all, as we can say, all people that love mailing lists will still use, like me, that use ERC, Telegram, Slack, all together. But it's, it's important to, to find the best way to let work them, all of them. As an example, with Mozilla Dahlia, we do it because we have the old volunteers, as we can say, that are part of the community since 10 years, using the forum, only the forum. New people, only Telegram. So we started doing a video call monthly, and we have people that both joining. And later, the old people switch to Telegram because they want to start work all together because they saw people face to face during a call. And now we have the, the, the last one two days ago when I was going there. So I saw people that we, people say each other they can accept to change platform. But this depends, of course, on the people, and this is not easy. But you need to try in uh, some way. As an example, another step was also to think about this course. Because this course, uh, as we can say, is the mailing list of the future right now. Because a lot of people, is a mix between mailing list of old times, but also the modern times. So is, uh, you need to experiment. It's the only way, because uh, migrate everything can be a problem. But experiment is the best way. OK, we can do one more question. You're welcome. I cannot find you. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, I'm, this is not a question, it's just to share my experience. Uh, I'm a computer person since, I have computers since the age of eight. I'm 43 years old. And I want to tell you that I hired a coach because I made a professional change last year, and I hired a coach to uh, explore and to fulfill my all, uh, to explode all my skills. And it was the best thing that I made in my entire life. So what I want to say to everybody, we can go be good, very good at MySQL, at Linux, at open source software, but if we are not very good on the other professional areas like social, like teamwork, forget it. With my coach, 
I'm here at FOSDEM. It's very nice, and thank you for your presentation. So I hope everyone hires a coach for yourself and for your team. Thank you.